Okay, guys, it's time for a story. It's going to have you saying... Shut up, the front door! door! Former New York Governor Elliot Spitzer, yeah. who was forced to resign, you remember, after he was busted for seeing prostitutes. Yeah. Well, he's running. Well, I wasn't for... just seeing them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was giving them the. I Spitzer. mean, I see him. I drive past him. <laughs> he was great with money management, right? Yeah. I still want to know how that girl was charging eleven thousand dollars a night. His opponent is the former madam who ran the prostitution ring that up. Elliot Spitzer used. Is this true or false? What? This shut the fuck up. Got to, to be false. false. That can't. That can't be true. Well, kid, actually, you're wrong. Oh, really? It is what? very wow. true. Who knew? Yeah, her name is Kristen Davis, not the Sex in the City Love Kristen her. Davis. No, she is the one who supplied Elliot Spitzer with these women uh -huh. for his personal services. Yeah. Wow. And she went to prison for three months for this, by the way. Both Elliot Spitzer and Kristen Davis have to get 3,750 signatures from New York City voters by tomorrow to officially be legally qualified candidates. Shouldn't be a problem for her. I don't know, you guys. I'm just not comfortable with someone in political office that doesn't have good morals. <laughs> George Clooney dumps Stacey Keebler over the phone. I think that's how George breaks up with his girls, or he's classier than that? Uh, what, what classy? Like he puts a tuxedo on and just shows up at the door and says, yeah, I'm done. This is um, my breakup suit. Right. <laughs> you see me wearing this, it's not a good sign. Yeah, I think it's possible. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. Well, it didn't happen. You're wrong. It was Stacey Keebler who broke up with George Clooney over the phone. Oh, switcheroo. Oh. Switcheroo. <laughs> Shut the back door. <laughs> That's what she did. She shut the back door. <laughs> Keebler doesn't think a long-distance relationship will work, so Clooney agreed parting ways was the best choice handling the split like a gentleman. I mean, he, he was probably sobbing and crying when he got the phone. Well, the first time in how long that a, that a woman has dumped George Clooney? Well, they say he handled it like a gentleman, but on the phone, you can pretend to be anything you want to be, so he might have been like, what is happening right now? What? Yeah, babe, so if that's what you think, then that's what you think. <laughs> Shut the front, front door! door! Chris Jenner, she's already butting heads with her TV talk show bosses, and uh, it's the, over the direction of her new show. Chris didn't want to co-host, but she lost that battle immediately to her bosses. True or false? True. In a Dish Nation exclusive, drum roll. <laughs> Executive producer Robert Lifton says it's all wrong. About the only factual thing in this story is that Chris has a talk show. Chris has been an absolute pro and, most importantly, completely in support of having co-hosts. Chris wouldn't want it any other way, and that's the end quote, but by the way, they even got some of the name of the studio producing in the show wrong. It's actually produced by Fox. They might as well have said that she wasn't going to work with anybody unless their name started with a K. Everybody knows Kardashians are easy to work with. <laughs> <laughs> Your point. I, I think she's a smart woman. She knows how this business works. She probably has a nanny cam at the house, though, to watch Bruce. <laughs> <laughs>